Gutierrez with Latruska running in the personal inside grade one this coming Saturday on Travers Day. Fausto, talk to you a little about the last race. You know, what, what do you think the difference is going to be between the last race and this race? Okay, the last race was very difficult for us, even due to the result, no? Uh, she had a bad performance. Uh, but what can I tell you? This is part of the races. Uh, have a lot of factors back to the races. How the horse trip, how is the... The, the race, I don't know how to tell you. Uh, but today I see her in other form, uh, ready to win, why not the second personal in signing line. Uh, she's a great horse. I, I think she don't have nothing more to show. Uh, it's a horse to win five, lose one. Uh, so we don't need to to try to looking for a lot of excuses for that last race. We have a very bad performance, but we are here because he's in a very good form and ready to run. Horses is obviously comfortable, comfortable over the surface. You worked at Churchill, you worked up here. How'd those workouts come out? She, I think to Churchill, it's a, it's a good track to train. It's a, have some tricks, in my opinion. And Saratoga, you know, every track is different. Uh, Letruska have here three starts, two wins, so this is a sign up to, to she like this track. Last question for you. How do you think that race came back to personal and sign this year? Uh, you know, now there, these kind of races are with the small fields, but full of quality. Uh, so hard, very tough race. It's not important to go three, four, five horses. Uh, Al Clarier, Malathat, search results the top horses in this division and, and, and Letruska she is well for that group no two races ago she come for one of the fastest apple blossom in the history the second for her so I repeat you I want to erase as soon as possible the last performance to she have and I think this is a, a perfect place to to return well good luck on the personal inside this coming Saturday thank you very much we're with Dale Romans on the backstretch of Saratoga Racetrack. Dale, you have howling time going into the Allen Jerkins this week. Um, talk to me a little about this uh, cutback here. We saw that Monmouth Park ran a, a nice fourth. We cut back to seven furlongs here. What's the plan? Yeah, he's run a couple of good races. We just thought shortening him up, we'd give it a shot, see if it makes him a little bit better horse. He didn't finish quite as strong the last race as we thought. And maybe a little shorter distance to make a difference. He finished, uh, uh, he won at seven furlongs, I believe, when, in the earlier part of his career. Comes here at seven furlongs, faces a horse like Jack Christopher with that really big early speed. Any type of uh, pace setup that you could think could possibly help him here? Well, we'd like to see him go real fast and then just sit right off of him if we could, coming off the route races. But, you know, Jack Christopher's coming off a long race too. He might not show quite as much speed as he has, but we'd like to see a good lot of speed in the race and just be able to stop and pounce. Last thing for you, had a nice work the other day. I think it was two out of 79, 46 on four furlongs. We've seen those type of works before in the past where, where it's been a very fast working horse. How do you think that'll translate to the afternoon? Well, obviously, they're doing good if they work that fast, and he did it all on his own. I mean, it, was, uh, it wasn't like anybody was pushing him or asking for anything. He just did it on his own. He galloped out strong, and he recovered well. So I think he's ready to roll. Well, good luck this coming Saturday. All right, thanks. Here back at the Annex Barn with Kenny McPeak's assistant, Jake McEntee. Jake, uh, you have crazy beautiful going in what we'll call the Chevy Plus this coming weekend. I saw the horse fired a bullet the other day, working five furlongs again, not four. Uh, talk to me a little bit about how the horse has been training. Yes, yeah, she's been training very well. Um, we're just freshening her up at the moment. Um, the work the other day was very, very good. Maddie, um, a girl that rides her every day, she's been, she's been riding her frequently. She says that She's doing brilliantly and training great. So uh, yeah, all systems go for Saturday. Talk to me about this race, how it came back. Uh, we're calling it the Shoe V Plus because it's it's just an absolute firehouse of horses. Well, it's the Shoe V Plus some, isn't it? You know, you've got Latruska added, search results, um, some serious, serious uh, competition. Um, it's a very hot race. And I'd like to think that she can still hold her own and run her race. And, you know, she wasn't beaten terribly far last time and, um, and, and we hope that she's come on for that and she's training better now than she was before. So potentially we could see a bit of improvement again. What do you think about your post draw in this race? It seems like the Latruska, you know, did get the rail. Yeah, um, look, it, we kind of, we went forward last time. Our hands was kind of played almost, you know. Um, I guess we, in an ideal world, we want Clarier and Malafat to come at us rather than us come at, come at them. So, um, 
yeah, I mean, Latruska is obviously a forward going type. It's, it's, it's a wide open competition and um, ideally we just get a clean trip and, and, and go from there. Well, good luck this weekend. It seems like it's going to be a hell of a race. Thank you.